Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As the dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Well, today we are going to answer the question which have been on the almost every single, single Kingdom Builder game. Can you get the artifacts or the heroes or any like rare equipments in the Call of Dragons as a free-to-play player, right? I'm a perfect example. I have not even spent a single dollar in this game, which means I don't even have Lilia. And I can show you guys by playing more than 500 days how much artifacts, how many heroes and how many rare things you can get um, as a normal player, as an organic player who likes to chill and who likes to just uh, build up the success and build up the power. And also you can see I'm almost uh, five, 50 million power, right? And that's a great achievement. Uh, generally in Call of Dragons, when you achieve this kind of amount of power, there is a lot of congratulations in chats, right? So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys that you can, if you're going to play organically, you, there is a high chance that you're going to have good uh, artifacts and good heroes, right? Of course, you need some kind of luck. There were times when I had a lot of luck in the game. There were times when I had no luck. And yeah, that's generally what how luck works in uh, games and in life and in general, right? So this is my artifacts currently, which I have gotten in the game and you might see there it's like a lot of surprises right a lot of um epic artifacts like a lot of uh, exclusive artifacts that's how i call the artifacts which you can't get from the normal keys and also you can see the artifacts which i got from normal keys in terms of like the levels of my artifacts my phoenix eye is level two my shadow blades is level two and i just upgraded my shadow blades on level two today and yeah, one of my best artifacts in terms of the quality and the level, my Mirage Orb is level 2, right? The Rattle Spear level 1, a tier of Arbon defensive artifact for mages is level 5, uh, Sorland's Blade is level 3, um, Fang of Ashkari level 2, and after that, I think all of the artifacts are level 1, right? Uh, of course, I'm not upgrading the skill levels of, for example, Kurata's Wrath or even Lucia's Horn or uh, Breath of the Forest, all the artifacts which I'm not using because I I use those um, um, artifacts as a scrapping machine and I just upgraded the stars because, as you can see, I have full stars, stars on a quite a lot of uh, artifacts, right? In, I'm, right now, I'm working to get... Uh, another last mo one more star to the Heart of Kamasi because I think Heart of Kamasi is amazing artifact, especially for normal damage dealer archers. And I wish I had higher level on this one, but unfortunately, it's still on a level one, right? The normal key artifacts generally need some kind of luck to get the good ones, right? But in terms of uh, the exclusive ones, like such as Rattle Spear, such as uh, my resorb uh, there is a couple of events where free to play players can try their luck right um, i'm pretty sure those events are only one which i have already uh, had with regarding that that's the artifact compendium reward uh, which i think uh, i can show you guys from here right like season features or maybe not well every every single season when the carry k is ending you are having a chance to uh, simply try your luck in Artifact Compendium, right? Uh, with the 30k gems, you will be guaranteed two legendary artifacts, and uh, depending how well you performed in the last KVK, uh, you will be you will have chance to have higher quality um, artifacts, right? Of course, it means that you have to collect 30k gems every single season only for that one, and that's how I got my my resort twice. That's how I got my rattle spear. Actually, that's how I got like three levels of tier of Arbon from like purely artifact compendium and uh, the Sorlands blade level three is from artifact compendium that's it right the uh, phoenix eye levels and shadow blades levels i only got from normal keys and that's why i only advise you guys to try out the most value um, uh, events um, when it when it comes to gems right of course you might ask there is a forge of light for example where you can actually try out the newest uh, artifacts but uh, my advice would be that uh, 
Uh, don't spend gens here. Uh, that should be the number one advice from a free-to-play player. Uh, don't spend gems in Forge of Light. Uh, the another way for a free-to-play player to try the luck of the Forge of Light is to collect the keys, like the Forge of Light keys, from scrapping the uh, like unused uh, emblems. Right? You can scrap forged artifact keys five per week. So try to collect these keys every single week. And whenever you're gonna have at least like 100 or close to 100, then you are going to spend on the Forge of Light event as a free-to-play player. If you don't have uh, keys saved up and you still want to try um, with the gems, uh, trust me, you, have, you will have to spend a lot of gems, which I think as a free-to-play player, there will be a lot more better and more important uh, things where you want to spend your gems, like such as rally building, such as... Uh, watchtower to progress through the game and to achieve the tier 5 units right so this is like a small uh, forge of life uh, forge of life tip for free-to-play players how you can actually try out the uh, forge of light and try the luck only by getting uh, the keys and at least 100 should be like equivalent of guaranteed legendary artifact for forge of light so you can understand how much gems you have to spend on the forge of light to get uh, the artifact by just spending the gems that's why this is a great tip try to collect these keys and at the end of the kvk when you're gonna have a lot of them at least 100 try your luck here right so well the uh, question to can free to play player have good ar um, artifacts of course uh, there is another question you might have it troubles of having a high levels on artifacts but Generally, by itself, of course, there is a lot more artifacts, which I even myself want to get, but still, trust me, Mirage Orb, Rattle Spear, Phoenix Eye, Shadow Blades, even some uh, infantry artifacts, unfortunately, for offensive ones, even Staff of the Prophet, and two good uh, cavalry artifacts. Basically, everything I have already, so the answer to that question will be yes, free to play players can have a good artifact. More you're gonna play, your artifact is gonna be better and better, better and newer, newer artifacts you are going to acquire, right? So, of course, um, in terms of myself, uh, I also have a couple of wishes. I wish I had, for example, Galded Crossbow, right? It's an amazing artifact for archers. And as an archer main, uh, of course, I want to have, like, Galded Crossbow. I want to have even Spirit Bone Torque, even Gold Crest. But uh, even, like, pay to win players don't have every single artifact in their arsenal, right? So the answer is really, really simple. Free to play players can have a good artifact in this game. Uh, regarding heroes, well, yet again, there was a question, can free to play player can have the heroes which they want to have, right? Of course, here, same as in uh, artifacts, you kind of need to have a little bit of luck, and sometimes you will be lucky, sometimes you won't gonna be lucky, right? In terms of heroes, you can see how many heroes I have e acquired, right? Uh, Lilia and the uh, host won't gonna be possible because I need I have to spend and uh, you won't gonna be able to play player if you're gonna be spending right and yeah actually like I only want the newest heroes uh, Magrot on my arsenal but besides that I'm pretty sure if you are cavalry player you would be choosing Urag and Tobin on Wheel of Destiny and they, there is higher chance of getting them right because you can get Urag from the lucky spin you can get Danfell from the lucky spins I don't play cavalry, I don't play infantry, that's why I don't have these heroes equipped. Besides that, you can see how many heroes I managed to acquire and what's the levels on those heroes as a free-to-play player, right? I have Awakened Indies, which is pretty easy to do. Um, my Nico is on a pretty fine state. Um, I have been getting a lot of uh, extra Garwood uh, tokens, which means my Garwood is getting better and better. Well, Cinder and Fragar, which I got from Wheel of Destiny, uh, which is simple free to play players, uh, Cindrion, uh, Thea, 5 4 2 1. Thea is generally really, really good. And one of my only awakened legendary PvP heroes, Kinara, the hero which I have spent the most amount, like almost every single legendary token uh, before I was trying to awaken her, right? Uh, the Wellin, which is 5, 2, 1, 3, and even like Fragar from the Lucky Spins, and I got Tohar from Wheel of Destiny. So basically, uh, in terms of heroes, 
uh, you can get the exclusive heroes such as Tohar, such as Sindrion, such as like for example Theodor, uh, Magrad, Obin and Mogro from Wheel of Destiny. Wheel of Destiny changed um, and you can actually pick which heroes you want to get uh, from now on, uh, which makes acquiring legendary heroes much much easier, right? So, of course, you won't gonna have every single hero as a free-to-play player, but I'm pretty sure uh, if you're gonna choose your desired troop type in the game, and you want to get, like, for example, myself, I only want to have archer heroes, well, I have uh, every single archer besides Magrat, and at some point, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have her, right? If you are cavalry player, you will be the same spot. If you are infantry, same, right? That's why I always mention trying and... Finding the best troop type where you are having fun is really, really important, not only for your fun, but for or for your progression also, right? Uh, so, uh, there is like two ways how you can acquire heroes, even as a free-to-play player, Wheel of Destiny, uh, which needs like 7 or 10k gems, every start of the new KVK, uh, you're gonna try your luck. And second one, these lucky spins where you have to spend some gems, uh, like, uh, I don't know, depending how much you want uh, to unlock the hero or even awaken. The Rule of Destiny heroes are like Zyda, uh, is Fragar, uh, and like, like even Bakshi and even Nika. The Skogul is also Lucky Spins uh, um, hero, which you can actually get from just playing the game, gathering gems, uh, selling resources, getting like 2.5k by, by just selling resources. So generally, I think like getting resource, getting uh, gems as a free to play player is not that hard, right? So. I think I tried my best to showcase how free-to-play player have uh, the heroes and the uh, artifacts uh, in Call of Dragons by just playing the game and collecting every possible resources which this game is giving to us, right? Uh, and yet, if you are a future Call of Dragons player who wants to understand uh, is this game free-to-play friendly, well, um, everybody has different opinion how the Kingdom Builder game should be free to play friendly. Uh, for example, myself, I like that I'm not spend I, my my units are not dying from every single fight. I like that I have free elixir. Uh, I love the PvP gameplay of Call of Dragons, and yeah, I like the in general the graphics of Call of Dragon. That's what makes me love this game. Um, and if you are on the same page with me, good for us, because we are going to have fun in this game, right? So, all the free-to-play players, I'm encouraging you to just continue playing as long as you are having fun, and trust me, it, like, day by day, you are going to acquire more artifacts, you are going to acquire more heroes, and, of course, it's at one point, you are going to be a tier 5 player, where, you, where the next level of fun is going to start, right? And yeah, as always, um, if you like the video and if you like uh, share the idea of a free-to-play player playing the game longer, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game. I wish everybody an amazing day, morning and night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.